be killing them on. Do you care to join in and help? Um, actually, you didn't read this, did you? No, I told Everybody you. Everybody didn't read this to you. Uh, apologies, uh, I'll just be quick. Um, in the name of His Majesty's loyal servant, Lord Sheriff Glenfield and Street. What a weird name. name. You can ask him. Sir Kirkendale Gordon, that's you. Oh, that's me. And Sir Roland Wolfe, that is me. Oh, that's me. Are hereby ordered to execute one hard, stumpy, bald trick oh, that's for me. crimes against the crown. Well, I guess you're going to be a bigger help than I thought. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. He's our old dear friend. There's nothing this man. Look at this innocent face. He's got a mask and a hood. What could be wrong with that? Oh, really? There's nothing he could There's have done that's happy to be in the pretty series. According to this, on the 3rd of June, June, the year of our Lord, 1583, oh, that's two years what hot stubby Baldrick did with malice of forethought, strip off his clothing and urinate in the holy water during Sunday Mass. <laughs> now, first of all, when you have the gifts that God gave hard stubby Baldrick, it's a sin to cover them up with balls. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. And 10% of the men. Now, now know you, and know you, as for the whole tinkling in the holy water, what can he say for himself? He's a Piscopalian! <laughs> a Piscopalian! Did you get it? I just stab you for that. That was evil. She's having a stroke. So wait, there's right. more. There's more charges here. They get worse. <laughs> All right, let's hear the other charges. According to this, on the 17th of July, the year of our Lord, 1584. Last year. What? Hot stubby balls with dead. With malice of forethought. Gathered together. One horse. One ram. One fat goose. And a sheep named Basil. Bring them to his hotel room for private time. It's in parentheses. Private time. Now, now hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before you, you call this man a Welshman. <laughs> I know, no one knows why that's funny, but it is. Before you call this man a Welshman, know this. Nothing untoward happened with that, that horse, that goat, and that sheep, and that goose. That goose. The fat goose, for no use. He was feeding me in that tavern, and we were playing the highest stakes game of Jenga I've ever played. And it's hard. The fat geese, they wiggle. They wiggle, they're hard to stack on. So therefore, it was just Jenga, nothing untoward. The well, but there's one more charge. I can defend really bad. I'm like it's a really lawyer, bad. I'm just so full of it. Let's see that. <laughs> you say that. 17th of November, hey. year of our Lord, 1585. One hot stubby Baldrick dick with malice of forethought. Double dip, a potato chip, the persecution rests. Wait, wait, what did he do? Double dipped a potato chip. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Now hold on ah. a second, hold on a second. You sick bastard! <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you want to see Stubby die? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, execution is applicable for double dipping a potato chip? Yeah! yeah. Uh, they, they are hardcore here. I hardline you can. <laughs> All right. Well, hard stubby balls are coming in. Stubby. Now, where are you off? Where are you off? Ah, Sir Roland, your boon companion yeah. will, with one swing of this mighty axe, remove your head. Yes. Give me three chops, and you will be a dead man. By five chops, I will make this man shorter by a head. Give me ten blows, and he will surely be dead. By twenty tries. I am sure I can hack his head off, give him 50 blows. All right, come on now. I've never Hold done on. It if you do it, if you do it, we'll be here all day. Just give me the axe, and he'll be over quick. He needs to know he has a friend with an axe, a big ass axe, that's ready to kill him at a moment's notice. I should, I should kill Stumpy for two reasons. Wherefore? Number one, I'm holding the axe. Oh, that's good. Number two, I want to do it. Damn it, I want to do it. God, you sound like the government right now. <laughs>
That's why he's our best friend, because he called us handsome. It's a weird friendship, I know. Alright, so would you like to see us fight over the right to kill him? Yeah. Alright, now I'm so cool. Keep up action. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold this because we're shameless about our clocks. Alright. Very well then. If I, Sir Owen Wolf, win this duel, I win the right to kill Stumpy. Alright, and if I, Sir Crickendale Gordon, uh, uh, do win this duel, I get to kill Hard Stumpy Bull. What's that? And we both die? Then you'll do it. Then you'll do it. Yeah. And we'll make sure to fall on top of you, because it'll be funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big bot. I'm hard to lift. So he moves. <laughs> Nature's best already. friend, the human shield! <laughs> <laughs> what a weird show. Nature's <laughs> Last week, the weird ones always come out. Oh, and, uh, by the way. Uh, Under! Crash! Uh, ah! Out! Ah! And, pretty girl, knife! Whoa, 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 Name it Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Someone read a book. Yeah, that's excellent. People in Miami apparently don't read. <laughs> now, my friends, the execution is going to proceed thusly. As uh, Sir Kurt prepares Stubby for death, all of us together are going to count thrice. It's once, twice, thrice. And on thrice, precisely, Sir Kirkendale Gordon will pack off the head of his best friend, the man who stayed up with him all last night, holding his hair back after he had bad haggis and ale and was vomiting into the chamber. Oh, he braided my hair something wondrous. Ladies, he has nipple fingers. <laughs> you killed the man who named four of his five illegitimate children after you. Hi, it's all except for Susan. What the hell, man? <laughs> what a weird name that is. Kirk, Ann, Dale, and Gordon. Oh. Now, you will also kill the man who saved your life in combat no less than four score times. Oh, it's actually four score in one. There's this incident with it, a pooping incident with a chamber pot. All right, too much information. When you, you have, have to share. When you 